Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, I got a couple questions about um, what brushes I use in Illustrator and Photoshop for kind of like the thicks and thins and uh, inking style. So this is kind of a tutorial on inking digitally. So first off, I'm going to show you guys what kind of brush I use in Illustrator. So I have Illustrator CS6 open and I'm going to quickly show you what the brush looks like. So this is what it would look like when it's... Um, when you can draw with it, you can see, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. Um, you can see how there's the thicks and thins, and I am using a tablet right now, a pressure sensitive tablet, and that's where you can see the thicks and thins come in. So if you, you see, I'm using one size brush, but the different sizes I can actually get. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that brush. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to our brush tool or paintbrush tool and the shortcut is B and we're going to double click. So it's going to bring up some tool options and you can see we have the tolerances and the options. So under the tolerances we have fidelity and smoothness and I think when you first open these it's going to have um, I think they're down at zero but you want to put them both up to four and five percent or even four and four percent and what this does it actually smooths out your line so if you don't have the steadiest hand or the shakiest hand, it will smooth out your lines and the lines will look crisp and uh, they won't look all wobbly and stuff. So that really helps. You can play around with the smoothness, um, maybe four to six percent. I wouldn't go up too much because then it just becomes very straight and there's no there's no line weight to it. So we'll keep those at four and four. And then under options, just have fill new brush stroke checked off. We'll click OK. And now usually at your brush tools, down here you'll have um, a bunch of round brushes so if you just want to click the first the first round it doesn't matter the size as long as it's a round brush and we're gonna double click that and it's gonna bring up this options window so first thing we're gonna name this I'm just gonna name it uh, inking brush and then it's when you hover over those you can know which brushes are used for what so now we're gonna change the angle put that to 40 percent on tilt and the variation will be 53. Next, roundness will also be 40%. We'll have it at random and variation 24. And now changing all these, these settings to give the brush on an angle, that's where you're gonna get your thicks and thins on your ink and it's gonna look like a traditional inking brush or calligraphy brush. Next is the size. So the size, I like to start at a lower size, and then you can always boost up your size um, with the stroke when you're actually painting. So when it's smaller, there's a little bit more um, room that you can play with. So we'll keep it at four. We're gonna change this to pressure because we're using a tablet, and then variation is four points. We'll click OK, and now you can see our brush is created down at the brush menu. So if I hover over ink and brush, which is what we created. So I'm going to pick up my tablet and I'm going to show you guys the brush you just made. So you can see how the, the brush kind of fixed itself. See, that's the smoothness. So if, if you don't have the shakiest hand, it kind of it smooths it out and it looks great. So what I like to do if there's um, a character I'm drawing or, or a figure, I like to go on the outside a little bit thicker. So I can change my brush size to a two, and I can go thick on the outsides, go back to a one, and do the, the detail on the insides. And now you can also see that since we're using a, a pressure sensitive tablet, using just the one point stroke, I can go from really thin to a little bit thicker. And that's just using the same brush, but the pressure. So now we're gonna move on to Photoshop and I'm going to try to get the same kind of brush style in Photoshop. All right, guys, so I opened up my Photoshop CS6, and now let's get started on creating our calligraphy brush in Photoshop. So I already have the brush created, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right here. So again, the thicks, the thins, using the tablet. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that's it's easier for you to see. You can see it's the same kind of um, 
line work as an illustrator. Just with Photoshop, obviously there's no smoothing. So if uh, your, your line's wiggly, it's gonna be wiggly. So let's get into the settings. So I already have it created, but um, if you guys don't, if you wanna just select a circle brush, uh, a hard round brush, and then you click the brush setting option right beside, and I'll bring up this table. So I'll select the brush and um, I got this brush settings from JB Drawings and watching his streams. He has great line work, so I went to his streams, saw his settings, and I recreated it in Photoshop. So you can um, play around with the angle and uh, the thickness of the brush to see which one you like. So here's the settings if you guys want to copy it down. We got the size. Um, again, I think it's better that you go um, a smaller size and then you can always up the size instead of having it at really big so around 30 pixels you want your angle around 140 roundness around 30 percent and again that's just gonna give you that line like an illustrator you know the thicks and thins hardness 100 percent because then it just gets transparent and um, spacing um, about 20 25 percent because if you go high then obviously it's going to be a broken line it's not going to look smooth at all next we'll go into our shape dynamics pen pressure control if you're using a tablet and then everything else zero finally smoothing is checked and that's obviously going to help with um, your thicks and thins and uh, the smoothness of the line so if you guys want to play around with the sizes and uh, the angles so yeah guys, that's just um, my tutorial on how to ink digitally in both um, Photoshop and Illustrator. So you can get some really cool line work, um, your thicks and thins. And uh, I hope it helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and um, we'll see you on the next one.